Hello guys, today we have uh, uh, Comeback Logics LE35E. We have a bad power supply right here. So every time we're gonna, I have blown fuse when I connect it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this very quick and shouldn't take more than five minutes. So, so to eliminate the downtime. So after we're losing the power and the neutral line and the ground, Take it back off. Of course, after we disconnect the, the main fuse, just pour it here. All right, so the first thing that you need to do, just to make it quick and easy and avoid any downtime, you're gonna go ahead and get the white clip, push it back and then you lock it. And then you're gonna lock the one before, right here, push it back and then lock it. And then with a the screwdriver, go ahead with a black knob that was uh, that attached the bar supply to the den reel okay so we're gonna pop it back up like that and pop the other one back up and then the bottom one the bottom one right here pop it back up and the other one bring it down and that's it and now we should be able to bolt it outside so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it smoothly. Make sure you don't damage anything. Just move it. And that's the power supply. And with the side blade. So, and uh, we're gonna get the second one. Make sure, of course it's the same. I, I take it from another rack. So anytime you're gonna push it back, look. You need to take this one back up down. So otherwise it's gonna lock and it will not gonna go to the back to the den reel so i take it back up right now all right so make sure the den reel is uh, clear and push it back in all right push it all the way back lock the black now lock it back all right and now you're gonna don't forget this that's the connect the back plane to the other uh, other module so you're gonna push it make sure it's pushed all the way and the one before is connected to here you go all the way so now it's tight and firm now we're gonna go ahead and you connect your power supply uh, for line one I already lost I already lost uh, the ball the wire but i want to push this one down i cannot do it with one hand yeah right here that's good all right so we're gonna go ahead and connect this i know it's a little hard to do it with one hand but it's all right um, i have to hold it i don't have an extra hand so i'll try to do it very quick all right so, right here. And for some reason, the other bar supply was blown out every time I uh, I connected. So I figured out hopefully it's gonna be the solve of the problem. So let me push marker down.
So anytime you're gonna have a brand new bar supply, just make sure to take this cover off and make sure this uh, little switch is uh, has a proper proper voltage. So it's 120 or 220, depend about your location. Okay, and of course the fuse is gonna be good. I can see since this is used going, I don't have to care about the switch because I know it's, it was set for 120 volts. So right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bar it up and I hope it's not blowing out. So if it's blown out, that means we have another issue somewhere else. So let's go and uh, let's do this. There you go. That was good and the quick fix. I'm gonna wait until the, the controller power up and should be scanned. The device net has come up good and the power supply. So the old one, every time when I, uh, looks like get wet somehow and uh, every time when I bore it off it was like blown out and has a shower short outside so uh, hopefully this video will help someone and now the device net is uh, scanning so next time we can do a quick uh, video for the device net setting and design and troubleshooting and uh, if you need a specific video for anything else just uh, leave it in the comment below I'll try to make it a quick video as much as we can. Uh, so the bar supply replacement while in operations, it shouldn't take more than five minutes if you have the bar ready. And that's it. Uh, hopefully, I hope this one, I hope this video helps someone. And if you like the video, like it and uh, subscribe for more good videos. Thank you.